Today, Mac, we are talking about something different from fractions. So we're not talking about a part of something, we're talking about whole numbers, okay? We are talking about <coughs> integers. If you're not sure what an integer is, it's like a fancy word for numbers. Remember how math has its own language? Integers means numbers, but not numbers with a part, it's a whole number. So it's not like 7.58, but it could be like three, or 27, or negative 14. These are all examples of integers. Lots of times in our lives we deal with opposites, okay? You drive to school, you drive home. You climb upstairs, you climb down the stairs, right? I make money and then I buy things and I give that money away. So there's opposites in our lives all the time. This is where we're going with integers and what we're looking at when we talk about integers. So when we look at this chart here, here's an activity, and then we can represent that with integers. And this is very, very basic to start. So when we look at earning $10, how can we write that as an integer? If you have worked and you've earned $10, yep. Yeah, we say positive 10. You get $10. What about your team wins nine games? What are you thinking, Josie? It wins nine games. So you win nine games, right? We're thinking, is it a positive or a negative first? If you're gonna win. Positive. So it's positive nine. You go up 80 meters. You go up 80 meters. Yeah? Positive 80. You spend $10. Georgia, you spend $10. We go negative 10. You lose nine games, negative nine. You go down 80 meters, negative 80. So we can get all kinds of scenarios or activities or examples, and we can represent those with integers. Right? As you go through and read integers, we read them this way. Integers are read as... Positive 5, negative, negative 3. Okay, we say positive and negative. We don't say minus 3 or plus 5 because that tells us something else. If you say plus 5, it means you're adding 5 to something. This is saying it's a positive number or positive integer. Negative number or negative integer. If you're saying minus 3, well, minus three is saying that you're subtracting three from something. Numbers can be represented on an integer line. So we see this all the time. You've got zero in the middle, uh, positive one, positive two, positive three, positive four, positive five. These are what we call positive integers. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. These are what we call negative integers, okay? Not really crazy, but we have an understanding that numbers don't stop at zero, right? If you think about um, things like credit cards, bank accounts, oftentimes you can get stuff that's called overdraft, where you're allowed to get money that you don't actually have, but your account goes into the negatives. Yeah. Same thing with a credit card. I might use a credit card because I don't have the money, right? So now you owe that money back. And most of the time with credit cards, it's with interest. And the interest is generally around 18 to 20%. So if you spend $100 and you don't pay that back right away, it's now $120, right? If you spend $200, it's now $240, right? So you need to be careful whenever you're dealing with credit cards, okay? Lastly, that I want to say is each integer has an opposite integer. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So opposite integers work like this, okay? Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 2, positive 2. Negative 3, opposite is positive 3, right? Negative 4, positive 4. And what would be the opposite integer for negative 5? What would be the opposite... 
Integer of negative 5 is, Niels? Positive 5, right. So it's the opposites there, okay? Now, oftentimes when we take integers, uh, we like to take them and we like to order or compare, right? So you need to make sure that you're looking at or reading the question and seeing what it's asking. So if something said, um, order these integers from lowest to highest, right? Oftentimes we see things like that. You might have the uh, zero, uh, minus three, sorry, negative three, uh, negative 17, 12, 2. Let's go positive 12, positive 2. Right? So if we're looking at these and we want to order from lowest to highest, what are we thinking is the lowest integer right now? Natalie? Negative 17. So we would say negative 17. What comes next? Yes? Negative 3. Negative 3. After that, what are you thinking, Keegan? You've got negative 17, negative 3. What's coming next? Uh, I don't know. I'm just writing this down. Well, if you're thinking of these, going from lowest to highest, uh, you have three numbers left. 12 or 2. Just one. Huh? 12 or 2. 12 or 2? Pick one. Which one do you think would go? You've got 0 plus 12, 2. If you're thinking of a number line, lowest to highest, what are you doing? Plus 2. What do we got next? Yep. What do we got after plus 2? What do we have after plus 2? Thank you. Positive 12. So what are we missing? 0 in the middle, right? So we've got negative 17, negative 3, 0, plus 2, plus 12. So we can see those numbers working on that number line and laying them out. Okay? You'll have some questions that will be like that. You'll have other questions that will just be sentences asking you to write integers, something like uh, the plane flies at 14,000 feet above sea level. How could you write that as an integer? We know it would be positive 14,000. Might say, Joey dug a hole six feet deep. How do we write it as a... How do we write it as an integer? We say negative six because it's dug down six. Okay? Uh, today we're going to be working our practice through IXL. Have fun.